Today we're going to talk about the new multiple cameras ability in the newest release of 3D Via Composer. First, if we look at this animation, we can see the cars don't start animating until about 10 seconds. So let's use a couple of features to create a camera walkthrough type effect to walk up this platform and to get on the first car. First I'll draw a simple polyline to define the camera path. It'll snap to the geometry and I want to add a little irregularity so it won't appear too mechanical. Next, let's translate it so it looks about eye level on this person. And I'm just going to select her head so that I get a good position for the camera to start with. And next I'm going to actually move the timeline to about 9 seconds. Then I'm going to select the camera and go to animate, create from line, create path from linear time, and then select the line. And you can see it adds all these camera keys in here. And if I play that, kind of see it walking up, looking like you're walking on eye level. Now this is a little fast, but uh, you get the idea. And now I want to end at about 10 seconds. I'm going to get actually in the car. So I'm just going to select a portion of the car here. I'll select this handle. And then I'll kind of rotate it so that we look like we're looking, sitting in the seat. And I'm going to go ahead and set another camera key. Now I'm going to add a new camera. So add camera. And then I'm going to make sure that in the timeline that camera is selected in the properties. So we'll go to camera one. Now I'm going to select the handle and then attach that handle using a move with rigid attachment. So as the car moves, the camera will move right along with it. So you see we're going up and it keeps the exact same position looking like it's a stationary camera. So now I may want to add a second camera. So I'm going to go ahead again and Move the, move the view around a little bit. So we're looking from the side. And we'll select, or, er, and we'll add camera. Then I'm going to select the portion of the body. First I want to make sure that the camera 2 is active in the timeline. And I'm going to choose fly with translate keeping distance. Now when that goes down, you can see it's keeping the same distance, just kind of flying around the model, always looking at the exact same spot. This is really an effective tool. See how nice it moves along with it. And I may want to add a third type of camera, so we'll go ahead and add camera. And again, I'll choose that camera in the properties. And we'll go ahead and select a, another part of the car. But first, I want to get my actual position. So I'm going to snap to this person's position, make it look like she's actually looking at it. And I'm just using her head for reference as a point of view. And then I can go ahead and, and fade her out or hide it. And I'll select a portion of the car. And instead of attaching it with moving, we're going to target it. So I'll just find a position, target. Now 
now we play that whole thing together we can see we walk up the car get in it moves along the rigid camera stays with it's gonna switch to the side camera and lastly switch to the point of view camera could tweak that a little bit but you get the idea now one other thing that we can do is with these multi cameras is if I go ahead and make a multiple layout pane I'll do three instead I can have a different camera in each viewport so I can see what my cameras are doing that way I can better tweak when I might want to switch between cameras. So in this viewport I'll just choose camera one, this viewport, I'll go ahead and choose camera two, and this one will use camera three. And then if I play it, you'll be able to see the different cameras moving at the different points. So it gives a real good idea of what's happening when, and again you can switch in the timeline. So hopefully these tips have helped a little bit and you learned a little bit about multiple cameras. Good luck.